Okay, we're going to talk about the blood supply to the stomach, but first we're going to try to name some of the major structures. First, of course, here we have the spleen, and this is the stomach, and this is the first part of the small intestine, the duodenum. So let's point at some of these structures and see if we can guess what they are. This is the cystic artery. And coming up here, we have the uh, right and left branches, which go to the gallbladder. OK, down here in this sort of mustache-looking structure, what do we have here? This is the celiac trunk. And if you move up a little bit here, we have the left gastric artery. We come down this way, um, we have the common hepatic artery. And this way, we have the splenic artery. So the splenic artery here and the common hepatic artery here. If we go down a little bit farther, um, this turns into the gastroduodenal artery. So these are the important parts um, of the stomach we need to, uh, to know in order to discuss the blood supply. Uh, also notice uh, here this is the left gastroomental artery. And this is the right gastro, a mental artery. So looking once again at this picture and thinking about the vascular supply, we should realize that um, most of the blood is supplied by uh, anastomoses, connections uh, from a, uh, a big artery uh, to a smaller artery. So for example, uh, the uh, left gastric comes from the celiac trunk, so let's find the uh, left gastric. Left gastric artery is here, and you can see that it comes from the uh, celiac trunk. And next we'll try to find the right gastric artery, which is right here, and the right gastric artery comes from the common hepatic artery, which is right down here. This is the common hepatic artery. Next uh, we have the right gastroepiploic and this has two names actually. It's also called the right gastroomental and this is down here if you remember um, uh, excuse me, down here the right gastroomental artery also known as the right gastroepiploic and um, this stems from the proper hepatic or the gastroduodenal artery and we can find that by following it all up here so right, so this is the gastroduodenal um, artery next uh, let's look for the left gastro epiploic uh, so that is right here and um, this comes from the splenic artery. You can see this comes down here. And then finally we should think about the short gastric arteries, and there are four or five of these, and these come from the distal splenic artery. Okay, and this time we're going to look at the uh, blood supply to the stomach, this time looking at the veins. Um, so, um, first let's look at the uh, right and left gastrics. So here is the left gastric vein and here's the right gastric vein and uh, these will drain into the uh, portal vein. Uh, 